Hi, this time around we're going to talk about my dealing. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So this time around I wanted to talk to you about my D-Link. My D-Link is the easiest camera that there is to install that we make currently. And the best part about it is this isn't a featureless camera. It can also be used with the D-View Cam software just like all of our high-end cameras. So the first thing we're going to do is create a My D-Link account. So let's go ahead and do that. So to get started, what we need to do is run through the installation uh, CD for the DCS 1100. This is going to install the camera as well as register us online at the mydlink.com website that we'll use to view the camera online. So let's go get that started. So when you put the CD into your CD-ROM drive, uh, this is the, the page that's going to come up on your screen. So just click the start button to uh, advance. Now the first thing it's going to do is it's going to uh, install some ActiveX controls that are needed to view the camera. These are the same ActiveX controls that are used online to view the camera. Now it's uh, telling us to go ahead and install the stand on the camera, which we've already done. Now just click the next button. Now it's telling us to go ahead and connect the camera into one of the LAN ports on our router. So go ahead and do that now. Once that's done, you're going to want to plug in power. Once you have the power, you should uh, see a steady green um, light on the front of your camera. It's going to ask you, just go ahead and verify. Now the uh, software is going to go out and find your camera. Once it's found, uh, what you want to do is you want to check this Mac ID to the sticker that's on the back of your camera and make sure that that's the correct uh, camera that you're seeing. Then click the next button. Now it's going to ask us to uh, add a password to our camera. Go ahead and do that now and then click the next button. Now the next thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you if you already have a, uh, a account at the mydlink.com website. Since uh, we don't, we'll click the no button. It's going to ask for your uh, email address and a password that you will use on the website. Uh, verify the password and then you can give it a name. And then click the next button. And now it's creating an account at mydlink.com. Now what we need to do is we need to go to our email and get the verification email so that we can set up the account. So once you've verified the uh, email that was sent to you uh, and you click the OK button, all it's doing is asking you whether you would like to add another camera or finish up using all of the settings that we just used. So I'm going to click the Finish button and that creates a shortcut to the camera on the desktop. So now that uh, I've opened up the MyDLink.com website, I can put in my email address here and then put in my password and then sign in and uh, the video from the camera should automatically show up here unless you see this bar up here at the top and what this is telling you is that Internet Explorer has blocked uh, this add-on which is an ActiveX controller so go ahead and click the install add-on and then once that gets done installing the video will show up here on the bottom it's Roger's birthday today so as you can see setting up a my D-Link account is really easy 
Now let's see what happens when you set up the DCS 1100 with DViewCam software. So to set up the DCS 1100 uh, using the DViewCam software, the first thing we need to do is install DViewCam. And if you run the CD again, you'll see these buttons here at the bottom. The third one from the left is DViewCam. And when I click that, it's going to open up the installation program. All you have to do is click run and that'll get the installation going. Once you're finished with the installation, I'll show you how to uh, set up the camera so that it works with DViewCam. So now that the installation is complete, uh, just click the uh, start this button, click OK. So that will launch DViewCam. For now, there isn't going to be a password, so just click OK. Now the first thing that will come up is the installation wizard. And all you need to do is click this, this arrow to the right here, which is the next button. And what this is going to do is it's going to ask you if you want to add the cameras manually or auto discover them. I recommend auto discovery because it's easier. The uh, software will do the work for you. So it'll go out and it will find any cameras on the network that are available. So now it has found the cameras. The one that we're looking for here is my DCS 1100. So we know that it's there. If we just click the next button, we can see that it's here. Uh, if we want to set up, you know, recording types, uh, you know, home office 24 seven, you can go ahead and do it right there. Uh, this is a new camera. It's going to assign the IP address. When you click next, it's going to ask if you want to add any more cameras. For now, I don't really want to. And then you're all done. All you have to do is click this little icon down here of the guy running out the door. And you're good. And your camera is now uh, in uh, DView Cam. So, as you can see, setting up the DCS 1100 MyDLink camera using MyDLink.com or using the DView software is a snap. This camera is both feature rich and it's easy to use. So that's going to do it for this episode of Dealing TV DIY. I'm Mike and thanks for watching.